Now, that made me think of a book I checked out of the library. No pictures in it now, because this was in the 50s I checked out this book, Childbirth Without Fear. You can still get this book. Uh, written by an English doctor named Grantley Dick Reed. The main idea of the book was that unbearable labor pain was almost always associated with fear. Fear and lack of good preparation during pregnancy and perhaps lack of understanding care during labor. So here we had things that we learned helped. Okay, here are some things. Get out of bed, walk around, maybe dance, take a nap. What could be wrong with that? Eat something sometimes if it's been a long time. Drink something. Here's one. Why would that work? Try it. Maybe you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Smooching. Smooching with your partner. Now you have to, you know, enjoy that. Yeah. <laughs> but down goes the pain. The blood goes. <laughs> Woman can be quite unique. In fact, she could have a very long birth, and then she could have a very short one. She could, uh, I mean, every birth is unique, and it's sort of the midwife's job to figure, like, what does she need this time? This woman had been dancing and doing, you know, the figure eights, and here she's rolling back and forth. Now, that's going to bring the baby down, and she's playing. This is like surfing, okay? And then we can, you know, go there, unmedicated, okay? Now, how do we lose so much? I mean, how do we forget? Well, it's because they think we don't talk enough about the emotional state of the mother. And as I said, we want the oxytocin to go up because that's the one that the body releases when the mom feels secure, she's not afraid, and it makes feelings of love. Feelings of love can actually make oxytocin. And with oxytocin comes neuroendorphins, which are opiates opiates, right, that made by the body that can diminish or sometimes erase pain. Wonderful stuff. We don't want fear in the room. Now, we are the only species of mammal that can doubt its capacity to give birth. Well, think about that. Well, it's easy to scare women. It's even profitable to scare women and girls about birth. I mean, think about it. But it's not nice, so let's stop it. Really bad manners. Bad, bad manners. So what can we do to make us less fearful about birth? Maybe some humor will be allowed in the room. Maybe a little sexuality, kissing, I've thought, you know, affection. Let's get the oxytocin level up. And Nobody wants to feel judged about how she did it. So let's not judge. Let's say, give birth a chance. Let's give birth a chance. Thank you. <laughs>